okay, shorty, okay, shorty, okay, shorty, okay, shorty, okay, shorty, throw that back, on you, 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 okay, shorty, 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 throw that back, on you, throw that back. Nigerians have taken to the streets of Lagos, Nigeria to protest the attacks on the brothers and sisters in South Africa. The angry protesters attacked South African business shop right with stones and destruction of property around the retailer since they were unable to access his building. We have to come here when the whole incident ha started happening and we've been here. Police have been trying to take control of the place and try to also protect the property that belongs to the same people who have been killing us. The Nigerian government, they are trying to support the, 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 the support what is happening to protect the life and property of those people. While our Nigerian people are dying, our people are dying on a daily basis. We, we are protesting because of what South African government are doing to wow. Nigerians. We are not happy so. over it because we are good citizens. We partnership with them. They own ShopRite, they own MTN, they own Go TV, and a lot, lot of it. So we are tired and sick of all this thing that is happening. Xenophobic attacks in South Africa have left five dead in riots in Johannesburg, where foreign-owned shops were targeted on Monday. A recurrence of the 2015 attacks that left at least seven people killed. South African companies in Nigeria, including MTN and MultiChoice, have expressed their concerns over the situation. Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari said on Tuesday he was urgently sending a special envoy to meet South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to secure the Nigerian citizens there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They're actually burning tires. Tires. Yeah.